Would you like to learn how to share your affiliate marketing links effectively? A lot of times people will start in the business, they want to make money online. Affiliate marketing is one of the easiest way to do it because one of the easiest ways of doing it because you're sharing you're referring other people's products. You don't have to go out and create something and then have it manufactured and then have it stored and all that stuff. You're you're not doing any of that middleman stuff. You're just gonna refer it, send them to somebody else, and then you get a commission. The problem is a lot of people start their affiliate marketing business and they just start throwing links all over the place. How many of you have been on Amazon Associates and you see all those wonderful products, so easy to sign up, and then you just start throwing links all over the place. You're probably finding out that you haven't been generating very much income. It's because you're doing it wrong. That is not the way to do it. People get annoyed. Um, if you're throwing your links all over Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, think about it. People aren't on those platforms because they want to buy something from you. They're there because they're trying to engage with their friends. It's it's um, more of a relationship type of social media platform. There are other ways of doing it. So today I'm going to share with you how you can effectively get your affiliate marketing links out there and start generating some money. And before we get started, I do have an ebook below where you can hit the link it's free i have spent a lot of time putting this together there's four steps in the plan how to start your affiliate marketing business doing it the right way hit that link below get your free book and get started i also have a free resource tool guide that comes with it so if you're not sure you know what kind of products you might want to um, use for your business or what kind of software there's a whole list of uh, different ones in that resource guide so that'll help you get started one other thing that I really want to in, ingrain in you is that when you do affiliate marketing, you have to make sure you let people know that the links you're providing might earn you a commission. That's called a disclaimer because you want to be upfront with people and be honest. So make sure you're doing that no matter what platform that you're using or what method that I'm getting ready to share with you. I'm giving you eight different methods today, how to effectively share your links. And number one, I want you to think about this and you've done it yourself. But whether you're doing podcasts or YouTube videos or you're writing a blog and you have a website, one of the ways that you can effectively share your link is through a review. Now, I use YouTube, you know that, but here's a YouTube video that I made. Um, and I did a review about using an active campaign. Now, in this particular review, it was a quick review. It was a quick demo just to give people an idea of what it is. It was for email marketing. A lot of people don't know what email marketing is. And right away they think, oh, I sh I'm not doing that. It's too much work. But once you get deep, deeper into the business, you're like, oops, that is something I need. But they don't know what it is. So I didn't go in really deep with this particular video. It's more of a review. Like, like for people just trying to figure out what the heck is email marketing. So in there, obviously I shared active campaign. And then I also said, Hey, hit the link below. If you want to check it out, there's a free trial. And that is my affiliate link. If they sign up for active campaign, I get a commission, they get a great product and active campaign is happy because they have a new customer. So it's really, that's what I love about affiliate marketing. It's really a win, win, win situation. Everybody's winning. Everybody gets something out of it. Number two, now you could do a deep product tutorial. So and I could have taken active campaign and gone in really deep. I could do an hour long workshop video if I'd like. Um, I could do a mini course and share it and really, you know, show people how it works, but that's called a deep product tutorial. Now I use um, post planner. I did actually four videos on post planner in my YouTube channel and just really went through each step in detail. So instead of, you know, making a big, long one hour video, I did four short videos and people could go in and maybe just explore the four different steps of that. Now, some of the things you can do, is when you do a, a tutorial is you can do the pros and cons of something. So here's another example. I did the pros and cons of, or I compared Hootsuite versus Buffer. So I did this video, it's nine minutes long. As you can see, most of my videos aren't super long, but in this particular one, I compared the two. And then I talked about the pros and cons of each. I really wasn't pushing one or the other. I was putting it there so people could make up their own mind in the end. And again, I could leave a link for Hootsuite. I could leave a, a link for Buffer and people then would 
sign up and I get an affiliate commission. But you can do it with anything. People love information. They, they're searching for answers to their questions. They're searching to have problems solved. That's why you're on um, Google all the time, right? You're always searching to have questions answered. What you are becoming as the affiliate is the one with the answers and some product to help them solve the problem. Think of it that way. Now I'm showing you a lot of software because I tend to share a lot of software as opposed to physical products. I do have a couple links here I'll show you, but in general, um, in my business, I use a lot of different software. So most, a lot of my videos, oops, sorry about that. I did not mean to do that. Whoa. All right. So let's go to the next one. Um, you can actually put your link in a blog. So if you do have a website and you like to um, write about different products, again, put your links in there. You know now yourself when you go to read something, they'll say, here's another article to give you more details. And you go to it, you hit the hot link, and then it might say, oh, well, here's uh, some software you can use that will help you with that. So there's always links, <laughs> affiliate links all over the place. But here's a blog I went to. Um, this is Spencer Meekum, and he did, t I thought this was amazing, 10 best affiliate marketing books. And he did a little review on every, on 10 different books in this article. Now, guess what? Here's the first one, the $100 startup. You don't see any links, do you? But guess what? If I select the picture of the book, it's a hot link that takes me directly to Amazon and I can order the book. Actually, it's not there. It's up here in the, well, I take that back. You could do it there. Um, he did it in the title up here. Take that back. Um, there, it is set up where you could do the image or you can do the title, um, depending on how you set up your blog. But here, now, if I buy this book on Amazon, actually I'm in Amazon, I, I hit his link, any time within the next, it's either 24, 48 hours. I can't remember. Definitely within 24 hours. If I buy anything on Amazon, he will get a commission, um, even though I might not buy that book. And lucky him, I've got some things in my cart that I was going to order later today. And now Spencer will get the commission on all of that. So wonderful. Win-win for everybody. The next way that you can share, number four is you can promote your affiliate links through your email marketing list. So you can automate an email marketing list. Um, it could be through a campaign or just something that you're sending out um, once a week. However, you want to get into that. I do have a playlist all about email marketing since I keep mentioning it, but here's one that I did. And this one, I'm actually pushing out um, how you can grow your email list in this email and I had, um, I want them to go to a solo ads company where they can buy solo ads. And instead of just saying, here, go to this company, I said, here, check out this video because I do YouTube. I'm directing them to my YouTube video. And then in that video, I explain it in detail. So a lot of people will use their email marketing, um, emails that way. They might take them to their blog or to their podcast or to the YouTube. And then that way they can get into more detail and then the link is there, but you can be really creative. I could also put the link directly in here. I've done that too, but it's blue, it's hot. They hit it and it takes them directly to your link. Pretty cool. All right. Now, another thing that you can do is make a resource list or a tool list. Now on my website, I have a resource list and here are of my, a collection of my favorite tools and people can go in here. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. There you go. Yeah. Cause I have it um, four across, but they can go in. doesn't look that bad in real life there. It's evened up, but um, they can go in here and see some of the different tools that I use and they can hit those links and it takes them directly to that product. It could be a trial. It could be a direct membership. It could be a buy a product. Um, I also have another list that I use and I'll pull that up. This is a resource list that I send out for free with the ebook that I told you about earlier in the um, video at the beginning. I said, I have a free ebook. It's a digital product. I'm going to pull that up as well. But with that, I give a resource list and here are all the links to the resources. Now in this particular document, not every single lick, li not every single link is an affiliate link. Some of these are just links to take you directly to some of the um, software, some of the um, software that I use, or maybe some of the different places that I go to get affiliate products. 
I don't have a, an affiliate link in all these places, but I just put it there for convenience. And I wrote a disclaimer at the top right here. You can see that I wrote a disclaimer. Some of these links are affiliate links and I will earn a commission. I have to disclaim that and, and reveal that to my audience when they get this product um, because it's the law. All right, um, the next one, I was just telling you that you could do this with inside a digital product. And right next door to this is the ebook that I told you about. And as you go through here, now there isn't a lot of links because a lot of this is telling you how to set up your affiliate marketing business and there's four steps. But here's an example. I talk about click funnels, how you need a funnel, active campaign, and TubeBuddy. These are some of the tools that I use. And yes, those are affiliate links. If somebody clicks it, they get a free trial. All three of them give free trials. And then if the person after 15 days decides, hey, I want to start using this, then they become a member and then I get a recurring commission. Again, there is a disclaimer at, at, at the beginning of the book that tells the reader that these are affiliate links. Now we're going to take a breath right now because I feel like I've been talking really, really fast and giving you lots of information, but I'm really excited about this because I wish I had this information when I first started. I'm going to be honest with you. When I first started doing affiliate marketing, it's horrible, but I was throwing links all over the place. It's called spamming. I was going into Facebook groups and just promoting different affiliate programs. Just, I, I always say willy nilly, to be honest, I was just throwing them out there because that is what I understood that I was supposed to be doing. So if you get nothing else out of this video, please know that that's not the right way to do it. People have training on that. I actually bought a training that taught me how to throw links out into a, um, Facebook groups. And I, to be honest, I'm ashamed that I did that, but I can't beat myself up over it because I didn't know. That's what I thought I was supposed to do. And I bought a training that told me to do it. So for free, I'm telling you, don't do that. And I'm telling you for free, the proper ways of doing it. It really be, it becomes, um, you get to be creative and it's fun because you're naturally sharing things that you're using, things that you really believe people could be using to help, um, you know, make their business better or products that you're using that, you know, will help them solve problems. All right. So, so far I've given you, um, six different things. We just went over the digital product. Let's go to number seven. Again, I use YouTube and I had made a video here about YouTube tools on a budget. And I shared all the different tools that I started out with. Again, I wanted to share with my, my audience that you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money when you get started. Just use these tools. They're very economical. They're good starter tools. And then after I talked about them all, I put links here to all of them. I have a disclaimer all the way down at the bottom of my description. And it, yeah, you have to keep going down. I'm not going to go now, but, um, there is a disclaimer at the bottom explaining that, um, I make a commission on those links. And the last one that I want to talk about is social media. Yes, you can share links on social media, but you just don't want to throw them out there willy nilly. I'm going to give you an example. Here's, um, Instagram on my desktop, obviously, but there's only one place where you can use a link for Instagram. Now I have my link going to YouTube. That's what I do on mine. I'm getting ready to change this up. Actually, um, pictures and everything are going to change, but for now, you might want to, for a while, maybe share a product. Maybe there's um, one particular uh, product that you're using a lot. Maybe you're using um, ClickFunnels. That's like something that you're passionate about. You're sharing with everyone. Well, you could put your ClickFunnels link right here. And maybe a lot of your posts and things are talking about that. Um, maybe you like Active Campaign or a different autoresponder. You could put that link there if you want to just get creative and maybe just put it there for a while. Maybe you'll do like two or three month stints where you're sharing things. You can also put those links in the description after you talk about it a little bit, but be, um, have some finesse when you do it. Don't just throw them out there and hope that people hit it. It's like throwing, you know, money to the wind and hoping, you know, somebody will catch a few dollars, but basically, you know, use caution on number eight when you use your social media platforms. But I hope this was helpful. All those different ways that you can um, ethically share your affiliate links and do it in a helpful way. And I want to, you want to do it by using content and sharing something about it. One of the things that 
I really want to stress to you is that for people to buy from you, they're going to, they need to know you, like you and trust you. There's that, that factor, the know, like, and trust factor. When you first become an affiliate marketing, and I talk about this in the book, but when you first become an affiliate marketer, you you might get discouraged in the beginning because people, eh, you know, they'll see what you have. But the more you're out there, the more you're sharing free content, the more they're going to get to know you and then like you and then trust you and then buy from you. I remember two or three years ago, I read, um, I went to a summit with Eric um, Warhe and he wrote the book called Go Pro and he shared, which shocked me, he shared that he had put content out on social media for two years before he really felt like he made it, before people recognized him. He wrote his book, he was pushing that, but he was putting content out. And I never really understood it or, you know, I'm like, man, that's a lot of work for nothing, but it isn't for nothing. You're building your foundation so people get to know you and see that you're serious about what you're doing. I think it should take people a couple years because if you can't hang in there for two years for free, then what makes you think you're going to hang in there for 10 years when you're getting paid for it? You have to have that persistence, that consistency, and that tenacity to make it in this business and putting content out and helping people and doing it and having fun is going to make people um, see you with that you have credibility and 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 you're an authority on what you're doing and that's really what you're building up so hopefully that was helpful that was a little extra tip there for you don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification button i put out videos three times a week as of this video and i will help give you videos that will help you get your affiliate marketing business off the ground and running so that you can start generating an income. You have a good one. I'll see you on the next video.